Hello everyone, welcome to a new video tutorial. Today I'm gonna show you the fast and effective way to make post-production on your rendering using Photoshop. So, let's start quickly. First, I'm gonna drag and drop my render to Photoshop. This is one of my latest professional works. I've used Corner Renderer 6 to get this render. It looks pretty awesome but needs some effects. I've clicked the lock icon to unlock the layer and I copied it to see the difference after applying the effects. By the way, I'm using Photoshop 2020. We need to open Camera Raw filter from the top menu. Click filter and choose Camera Raw filter or simply click Ctrl Shift A. Camera Raw window opened. There are so many technical details here, but I'm gonna show you the fastest way that I use on my renders. If you want to click auto button, there will be auto settings, but it's useless for us now. So, let's start with basing settings. Click the basing menu, and then, first things first, increase the shadows, and then reduce the highlights. I think this is the first and most important step. If you want to see the difference with RAW render, simply click OK and turn on or off the second layer. OK, let's continue with other settings. Open Camera Raw filter again and increase the exposure because it looks a bit dark. And add more contrast to image Increase the texture, clarity and the haze to make more clear image and I want to see the texture details more. And also increase the vibrance value just a little bit. And exposure more cause it still looks dark after the adding glass effects. Now let's make the curve settings. I simply make S diagram, after this curve effect, the render looks a bit bluish. So let's change the temperature from blue to yellow. But be careful, not much, just a little bit. And finally, click detail menu and increase the sharpening and noise reduction value to make sharpen image. There are too many other settings in this camera raw filter but I don't use them much. Maybe lastly we can change the fabric color to more yellow. Alright, I think we are done for now. Let's click OK button and see the difference after post-production. The render really looks much better now. What do you think about this fast tutorial video? Please write me your thoughts on the comment section below. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe for the next videos.